One of John Lennon's most beautiful compositions got a little bit of help from a famous classical composer. The song was Because, which shows up on side two of the Beatles' 1969 masterpiece, Abbey Road. And the classical composer, well, that, of course, was Ludwig van Beethoven. Now, Beethoven was a little bit of a rebel in his time. He took the music that had come before him and evolved it. Harmony, melody, rhythm, song structure, to the point that by the time he died in the early 1800s, he had set the stage for all of classical music to come. Lennon did the same type of thing. He took music from the 50s and kind of primitive rock and roll music and together with the Beatles helped to evolve that to the point that when the Beatles broke up, they had set the stage for most of popular music to come. So there was a lot in common between Beethoven and John Lennon. Now in 1969, John Lennon was living with Yoko Ono, who would soon be his wife. Yoko was a classically trained musician. She had played with Ornette Coleman and John Cage, and she was a classically trained pianist. Well, one day she's at home playing Beethoven's sonata, Opus 27, Number 2, what we now know as the Moonlight Sonata. Now John said to Yoko, can you play that backwards? Now he probably didn't mean reversing each of the notes she played and playing them in reverse order. He was probably talking about the arpeggios. Instead of going up, go down. And so forth. Well, it wasn't long, I'm sure, before John started thinking about going up and down. And being the rebel that he was, he decided to break up those arpeggios with some bass notes. And you have Because. There's even more similarity between the Moonlight Sonata and Because. For example, Beethoven goes from C sharp minor to A major. Well, Lennon does the same thing. It takes him a little longer to get there, but he goes from C-sharp minor to A, just like Beethoven did. So John was really listening to Yoko. He was listening to Beethoven. He was taking inspiration, but as the Beatles always did, he was taking something and making it his own. And that's how we got to the music of Because. Now John needed some lyrics to fit this wonderful tune. Well, he was thinking about the arpeggios and how they were kind of moving in circles. And I'm sure that led him to think about the earth or the world, the world turning. And then the change of the word turns from the world turning to it turns me on, a, f a popular phrase of the time, of course. So we have Because the world is round, it turns me on. The world turns and it turns me on. Can we think of another phrase like that? Well, of course, how about the wind? The wind blows, and another phrase from the time, it blows my mind. It blows my mind when I get high, like the wind. The wind is high, it blows my mind. Beautiful. And finally, the last verse, because the sky is blue, well, blue is another word for being sad. So because the sky is blue, it makes me cry. Three lyrics, one about the world turning, it turns me on, the wind blowing, it blows my mind, the sky is blue, blue making me cry. A wonderful bit of wordplay from John Lennon combined with some wonderful music inspired by Beethoven, giving us one of the Beatles' masterpieces, Because. <laughs> 